Hey y'all, it's Amy from See Amy Draw Again. I'm back for what is a second week in a row doing a video. I feel like YouTube is a better platform for me to kind of like go into more lengthier things. I talk, I used to talk a lot on Instagram stories, but I don't really do that very much anymore. Um, but I thought this would be a good time to just do a little planner chat. I had a couple questions on Instagram about some things and then show y'all some of the new releases that we're coming out with tomorrow. I'm very excited about these, mainly because they took for what feels like ever to <laughs> get done, but I'm excited. Um, so first off, I, I've been using a passport. Y'all, a passport, this was like the first thing I used when I first got into the planner community and I feel like most people, a lot of people kind of come in like the traveler's notebook is like the um, gateway drug to <laughs> planning. Um, at least it was for me. But anyways, I ordered this off a of shop on Etsy, which I'll link. Um, this is the Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks Reserve uh, Roastery TN from Tokyo. So this is a shop located, I believe they're actually in Osaka. So I ordered a couple things from them. I'm so glad I got this cover. It is so soft and so smooth. Um, I could just hold it all day long. But anyways, I wanted to show real quick just kind of how I have it set up. A lot of this is kind of inspired by Lindsay Scribbles and um, how she's been doing her kind of um, passport in two different booklets, or she was, I think she's using a different um, notebook now. So first off, I just have photos of my kids. These are some of my favorite pictures. This is us at Epcot last July, I think. No, June, we went for my youngest birthday. And then that's, that's my little one, Abby, when <laughs> she was little. I just love that photo of her, that face, all that sass. Um, a couple more pictures, me and my husband. Now, someone did ask me on Instagram about the difference in the Traveler's Company kind of like folder, this little wallet insert thing, and Mo Terms. So I do have both because I bought this one first. And honestly, when I got it, I wasn't expecting very much. I think it's like $9 on Amazon. And to tell you the truth, it's pretty much like, it's essentially the same setup. Like you have the zipper pouch and the back same pretty much same size and then on this other side of the flap you have this like little pocket you don't have the extra pocket like this one does and then um on this one i guess they have a pocket on the other side so i bought this one like i said and i was a little i mean i wasn't gonna be like super impressed with the quality i don't think ever <laughs> because like i said it was like nine dollars which is um a fair amount of money to spend after you spend so much on a cover but I was in Charleston uh, no not Charleston Chattanooga and we found this cute little like stationery Japanese stationery shop and we went in and they had the travelers company insert wallet insert that had been sold out I think in a couple other shops I had looked at um, or websites online and so I just kind of like blacked out and was like oh okay about it um <laughs> even though i have this one and it's just fine but it's just the quality is so much different can you hear that it sounds to me it sounds like plastic it doesn't feel like it's made out of fabric but like if you're going to use one and you don't want to spend because i think this one was like 35 to 40 dollars which is a lot to spend on something like this um not something i don't think i would normally spend <laughs> Um, unless I'm on vacation and just feeling it, but, um, so yeah, I ended up getting this one. I have no regrets. Um, I actually bought another one. I got the big one, the orange one for the standard. Um, so, you know, I guess I loved it that much. Um, uh, but this has a more like softer cloth like texture. Anyhow, I thought I would touch on that. So, and this thing, I just store like stickers this is this cute little like what do they call it like a gift card holder thing from type a for alexa i just put a bunch of freebies that i will probably never use because that's how i treat freebies <laughs> for the most part and then these like double-sided tape thingies and here's just like receipts this is a picture of my dog um it's the same one i have on the cover but this one got wet i use a canon ivy and it just like started 
wasn't like splotting. It was really weird. Um, anyways, I actually just need to throw that away since I printed a new one. Um, like a vinyl sticker I got in Chattanooga. They had a lot of like ones that had really cute Southern sayings. And I was like, I can't not leave here without like 10 of them. Um, but I, I think I only bought like five. <laughs> Um, so this is actually taking me back to more of like a bullet journal type setup. Um, this first insert here is supposed to be just like a catch-all that I would use throughout the year, but honestly, I am going to redo it because I don't like how my calendars turned out and I got real frustrated. There's a ton of whiteout that you probably cannot see. I don't know. You could maybe see it, but, um, I only did six columns for some reason and then I forgot there's you know there's seven days in a week I didn't forget I just well I did um <laughs> this is why you don't do these things while you're watching daredevil because that's what I was doing I totally sidetracked but anyways I just have like calendars and for this I honestly think I'm just gonna do like one page the month and just have like one through whatever and just jot down some important things because the boxes are cute. I like that it takes up two full pages, but it's just, I don't know. It's not as easy for me to look at. Look at. I don't, I don't really don't know. Um, this page, I started thinking out how, what planners I'm gonna use next year, what I'm gonna plan, which someone else asked me, how many, do I keep multiple journals running at the same time? Yes, I do. And mainly because I just, I'm like very free spirited when it comes to my planning. So this here is my everyday carry. I actually have it set up like a wallet. If I can get far enough into this flip without get distracting myself <laughs> to show y'all, which I will, but I thought it'd be a good segue into that question because if you follow me on Instagram, then you know, I will memory plan in a couple different planners. And mainly because A, I like to see my products and things. I really need to get this coffee out of the way. I don't know why I got coffee. I'm not going to drink it right now. Um, I just like to see this, my, the different stickers and stuff and different layouts. And it's just really kind of what I'm feeling at the time. So undated planners really are my jam as far as like memory planning goes. So for instance, this one is one that was like, I've essentially stopped using in July <laughs> after I stopped using it. Oh my gosh. In January. So I go skip from January to April. This has probably been the one that's on my feed the most on Instagram and I need to do like a whole flip. And I apologize. I would post photos of my planner on Instagram, but Instagram is no longer a photo app sharing type, <laughs> um, app, but, um, cause just photos just don't do well. You gotta, gotta do these reels. You gotta do the reels. And that's what I've been kind of doing. But anyways, um, and then I jumped to June and see, and this was mainly because this is when we went to Disney world. Um, I had this new collection that I had released, no longer available in my shop, Tom Selleck. Um, but I really wanted this, I knew this week we were going to Disney World, it was my youngest, her birthday, and I knew I was gonna want to have something to like look back on and just kind of memory keep. I just jot down like where we ate, what rides did we ride and that kind of stuff. So, you know, an undated planner for me in that sense is well worth it. Um, I will not mind it at all if I a never finish this thing because look y'all I still have like this is probably just less than half of the planner left you see how big it is I will not mind it if I don't finish it um mainly because I can still flip through these pages like here's another Disney trip we went on last October like I know I'll want to look back and go through these and just kind of like reminisce about I don't know simpler times before my children were in high school and <laughs> youngest is now in fifth grade but anyways I I don't regret it at all I let her decorate this page so and I think that's kind of made me more freer and as far as like how my planners look I don't mind like little mess ups um my handwriting is a little bit well, for me um, personally is a little bit sloppier in this. I don't mind it. Like as long as I get it all down, I got photos and stickers just 
explosions everywhere. So I have this one. I love this B6. This is from this one and this A5 are both from Oristel. This is the tan cover and I don't know if she has any more, but I had to get an oops one because I totally forgot. I didn't forget. I just was influenced <laughs> to wanting the, the tan one and I was lucky enough that um, she still had some oops ones in stock. So that's the B6 cover and that is that was the what is it? Classic Daily. I believe I believe these are still in stock. Um, so if you see them, grab one because I don't know if they're planning a restock. Anyhow, this is my A5, which I have the weekly vertical classic from Oristel. And then this is the horizontal. This one here is nothing but chicken scratch because it's all just like shop stuff. All my shop planning, brain dumps. I have all these tabs. Annie at Annie Plan sent me these like sticky notes and I just wanted to get something set up. So I just went ahead and used those. I think she said they're from Daiso. Our gal over here, my guy. Um, <laughs> he's from the pizza box. So like Walmart came out with the surfer boy pizzas. I just cut him out because I'm a planner and I paper craft and I just love things like that. So I just cut it out and put it in there. Um, and my clear covers for my A5s are the Midori A5 covers, which will fit. I think you can get some on Amazon. You can get like two for like 10 bucks, maybe like one for five. Um, so yeah, this is another planner that I will sometimes memory plan in, memory keep in. So this is like my kids going back to school. And I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what makes me decide which one I'm going to use. I just, whatever I feel like, I guess. This one I journal a little bit in. So, as you can see. So yeah, this just keeping up with lots of things. I have another journal that I just started doing like freeform writing or like freeform journaling where you just kind of like every morning after I do carpool, I come home and I set a timer for 10 minutes and I just, whether I'm using a prompt or I'm just um, writing whatever's pouring into my brain. I love this monthly spread. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I, I have the attention span of a, of a like a three-year-old Abigail. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've been doing that and I do that in an Archer and Olive notebook. I mean, I just, I will grab whatever is closest and I'm feeling at the moment. But anyways, so yeah, do I keep multiple journals? Technically, yeah, yeah, I do. And I have no shame about it because I will, I know I'll keep both of them. I don't care that they're not, you know, in order. I don't care that there are days missing. I just want what's in my head or what's happened throughout our days to be logged somewhere. And if that's a B6, is like I'm just gravitating towards this, then I'll use that. If it's the A5, I will use that. It's whatever I feel like because I'm an adult and that's what I get to do. <laughs> um, anyways, back to this thing. So, like I was saying, this insert... I will probably redo. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to look. It's been serving me well, so I like, I'll do collections. So let me see. This one I just jotted down some um, ideas for like an AM routine and a PM routine because I di don't really have one. Um, and I've been sticking to a lot of these and it just kind of helps me, I don't know, get my day going. Um, stuff for my kids they each have a page because we had like parent orientations and all that kind of stuff oh I got my Auburn football schedule I know I'm an Auburn fan I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> I am essentially sad for mostly every Saturday of the fall um just some spending stuff <laughs> shop ideas random shop ideas um brain dumps this is like a content calendar um, trip ideas so we went to Chattanooga last month and we took the kids and we went on a hike and it was so much fun so I was like let's do this we're gonna be a hiking family now we're not but you know it was it was a nice little thought uh, future logs so things that I need to remember to transfer into a different planner I apologize I'm going backwards it's awful anyways <sighs> And then in here is just like where I keep the cards that I grab the most. So like my ID, my debit card, things like that. Um, and then this 
insert. This is from Good Ink Impressions, which um, Lindsay had, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna check this out because I love Tomoy River paper. Um, that's what both of the Oristel planners are. I just love it so much. I use, well, I won't get into that. Maybe we'll talk about pens another day. Anyways, so this is my daily planner, and do not ask me why I never write on the first page but y'all, I also do not write on the next two pages after that. I don't know. I don't know why. I have zero explanations for some of the things I do. Um, anyway, so this is where I just do like daily planning, um, just jotting down things I need to do. And I do it very much bullet journal style. So this year I did start in a bullet journal and I enjoyed it. I still keep that bullet journal that I use for like a month just because I still reference things that are in it. Um, obviously, at some point I just need to kind of like move it all into something else. But anyways, this is what I've been using. So I do little doodles in it. These are the stickers that are coming to the shop tomorrow. These little icon stickers. I had to have some wine. So our one of our cars broke down. My husband, it's my husband's car, but he also has a work car. Last summer, this past summer, a tree fell on my mom's car. This is a very long story I'm gonna try to cut short because I've recited it in my head a thousand times. Anyways, a tree fell on her car from our front yard onto her car last, this past summer. Um, it was a, it was a, essentially a free car because my brother won it from Dr. Pepper, which is another story. But anyways, it was a Mini Cooper. It fell, crushed her car, it was awful. Um, but then yesterday, the car overheated, so we had to get it towed. She was like in the middle of carpool for my high schooler because she was picking her up from school. It was a whole fiasco. So all that to say, I'm so glad I had this teeny tiny little wine sticker that can fit in this teeny tiny little passport planner because yes, I did indulge a little bit in some red wine after that day. Um, anyways, so there's that. I would like to get to a point where I'm planning out or have more days already mapped out but this is what it looks like and I really love it it's just a great place for me to just get things out of my head and then back here is the back part of this little plastic insert um, banana stickers oh man you know what yeah I do it's right here so one of the grocery stores by our house has bananas obviously um, but they've been using these Marvel they have these Marvel banana stickers yeah, I started a collection, obviously. I'm hugely obsessed with Marvel. Um, the new She-Hulk, I love that a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, but I saved the stickers because they're cute. So these are my duplicates. I just, what I do is I will have like an empty sheet of stickers. And y'all no lie, if you finally do use up a whole sheet of stickers, peel, peel the thing off of it because then it just becomes a great piece of um, sticker release paper which is what I'm using here I just cut it down to fit my banana stickers and for some reason I have it tucked in here and then I just have some more stickers in here and then these um, that was a sampler that went out during our last chance sale that's all back there so anyhow this is my new passport which I love I love a lot more than I thought I was going to um, and with that, since now I have a teeny tiny planner, <sighs> great segue into, I needed teeny tiny stickers, which I'm just now realizing I don't have my sticker book to show you all the rest of them. But anyways, so we're coming out tomorrow with 60, um, icon designs that are going to be available on these mini sheets. We call them mini sheets because they are little mini sheets of stickers. Um, so there's 60 different icons. I have a piece of paper. Here it is. With all the different icons on them. Yeah. But not only that, 60, 60 icons in three different colorways. Well, technically four. This is the minimal black. These will be the black, the minimal black ones will actually be kiss cut stickers, which means that it'll be cut to the shape of this, the design. So here's the little coffee cup, little foot. I made these ones because I, I needed these stickers. 
kind of the perks of being a sticker maker. Anyways, so I needed little football stickers because football season, baseball stickers because my husband has been watching the Braves a lot lately. And then these three other colorways, which um, these ones are actually going to be like the icons that you get in our sticker kits. So they're actually like a square sticker like that. Da, da, da. Will it focus? I don't know. I cannot tell. Um, anyhow, I don't know why I put that back there. Anyways, so these are, this one is the gray. These ones are neutrals. And I'll show you kind of like some of the designs will have like clock, meds, vitamins or whatever, TV, that kind of stuff. And then this is the colorful, which will come with pink, purple, blue, and green. I love all four of them honestly i will probably end up gravitating more towards these ones and um, you'll also be able to choose what kind of sticker paper you want so we carry a regular matte paper like this and then also a clear matte paper that i just so happen to have conveniently sitting here and this is our clear matte paper so you know it's like transparent um so these are all coming to the shop tomorrow all the billion designs so for some of these because I had people asking like do you have something for a birthday do you have something for you know bath time or whatever so there's some designs that I kind of wanted to be more like you could use in more than one way so for instance um, on our cleaning collection one the chores collections there's like these little bubbles I just doodled bubbles because you can use those for any type of cleaning and then also um bubble baths because someone was asking for bubble bath stickers and i was like oh that's a cute idea the apple here i'll probably use those for like marking parent teacher conferences for my kids um and you know on days where i need to eat a little bit healthier uh the apron that's a good one for eating at home which i've been trying to do more lately <laughs> and uh meal prep i thought that'd be a cute little like meal prep design and then the vitamins also can be used as meds um and probably several several other things so there are those i'll have these 60 designs tomorrow available tomorrow in the shop at 10 a.m we're also doing sad sacks which I didn't grab one to show y'all, but it's basically all the stuff that we just recently discontinued from the shop that we just um, had leftovers of. So we're gonna have great deals on washi tape, sad sacks. <laughs> I love saying that. Um, what else? Oh, vinyls. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, everything's gonna be priced to sell because we're trying to clear everything out because I have a huge order from my manufacturer that's coming in the next couple weeks. Um, I should make room. So we're gonna just price things really awesome. I have a, an amazing PR team. Uh, they're very active on Instagram because that's where I just live. Um, and then I also have a page on my website. It's uh, called Meet Our PR Team and all their codes and everything are available there and their links to their YouTube channels and um, things like that if they have them. So definitely look into that and to support them because they're amazing. Um, so yeah, you can use all the codes on them. You can purchase things together. You don't have to just only order sad sacks. You can purchase, you know, whatever we have available in the shop at the same time too. So if that is all. Oh, and someone else did ask me about starting a YouTube channel. Um, Debbie, who was on my PR team last year, who has got an amazing Instagram, um, which I'll tag her in the description, um, was asking, talking about how she wanted to start a YouTube channel and I was like should she do it like how do you start out and I was like dude I have no idea what I am doing if y'all have not been able to tell already then I'm doing a great job but no I don't know what I'm doing um and I think that's just kind of like the fun of it right like just, just start it like I'm using my phone I do I have a camera yes I do but I'm not using that I'm using my phone <laughs> and you know just just do it you know put it out in the world that's what I feel like at least you know if you all, everyone has something that they can share something that's unique to them um just put it in the world and see what we do with it we'll probably love it because her instagram is incredible and i wanted to show y'all i got these i got some more happy mail i got these pouches from pigtails and pockets which i'm so excited her shop is reopened uh rachel made me this one it's so cute it's moana her little friends 
um but this this is the one i ordered and she was so sweet so when i saw this design i freaked out because king louis loved jungle book it has a special place in my heart because it was like the one cartoon movie that my dad like took me to go see at the movie theater and actually stayed awake for <laughs> um he'll kill me later for that but anyways but she i left her a note and she was so sweet enough to send me a pouch that had him pretty prominent in the design but look how freaking precious this is a clear bag so i've been using another pouch for my passport in my purse i think i'm gonna use one of these instead now how freaking cute is this i love the colors and everything let's see well, does this one fit i think i tried it earlier and i noticed it didn't oh no i'll figure this out anyways it's amazing and if you haven't shopped her shop yet um it's pigtails and pockets i think dot net i'll tag it below with everything else i'm promising <laughs> um but anyways with that that's all i got for y'all thanks so much if you made it all the way you are a trooper um i'm gonna drink my coffee that's just been sitting here and i will maybe see y'all next week bye